I'm going to put three routers on here. One, two, and three. Labeled zero, one, and two. And I'm going to connect them. So I click on the connection guy here. They're same, same devices, so I have to use a copper crossover. Click here, fast ethernet zero, zero. Click on router zero, fast ethernet zero, zero. And now I've got a connection between them, but uh oh, we've got red lights here. Mm -mm. Let's change those to green lights. How do I change those to green lights? Well, they make them be able to communicate. How do you make them be able to communicate? Got to put addresses and subnet masks on them. Then they can communicate. Let's start with this guy over here, router zero. Okay, so let's click on him. I'm going to go to the CLI here. And continue with the configuration now. Now I've got my prompt. Well, first I've got to change the name of this guy. This is how you do it. First, I'm going to key in enable. And that gets me to the PEM mode. Now I'm going to key in conf T. PEM is uh, privilege exec mode. Now I key in conf T, global configuration mode. Now I want to change the name of the router. So host name will be router zero. I like that. And as you can see, it's now router zero. Next thing I want to go do is I want to connect to this Ethernet port right here, which was fast Ethernet zero zero on router zero. Hmm. Well then, how am I going to do that? Well, first thing I'll do is I'll key in uh, int interface. What interface do I want to configure? A fast Ethernet interface zero slash zero. And I hit enter. And there I am. I want to give this guy an IP address. So I key an IP address. Now what do I key in? The IP address, which will be 10.1.1.1. That's good. Oh, oh, oh God, I put in the uh, subnet mask. 255.0.0.0. This is a class A address. And it looks like I'm good to go here. Hmm, one more thing I want to tell this guy. No, whoops, MPT. <laughs> no, shut down. Don't shut down on me. You're up all the time. And it changed its state to up. Oh, I'm happy. Now if I switch over to where it says config, that tab, and go to fast ethernet 00, you'll see my IP address has been already registered. 10.1.1.255.0.0.0. So I'm going to click on X here, and I'm back to here. Huh? It's still red. Huh. Well, maybe i got to put an IP address and a, and a uh, subnet mask on this guy, too. Let's go do that. So I click on this guy, 1841 Router 1, zip over to CLI. So continue with the configuration here. No. Nope. And there we go. Now I'm the router. I'm on the router. So what do I do here? Well, pretty much the same thing. Enable first. And now I'm in privileged exec mode. I can conf T. I want to key in a name, host name for my router, which will be R1, I think it is. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's going to be router 1. So I'll key in R1 for this guy. So here we go. Host name, router 1. I hit enter. And now I have to go and uh, access the interface for fast Ethernet 00. So let's do that now. So I can int fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Hit enter. That's good. Next thing I can do is put in an address. So my address is going to be IP address 10.1.2.1. And it'll be 255.0.0.0. And I'm good. Now I'm going to tell it no shutdown. And it changed the state to up. Hmm. 
for if router 0 its state is up and router 1 state is up, I'll bet that line now has no longer two red lights on it, but two green lights on it, which means we can communicate across it. I'll bet that's the story now. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's go over here, click on X, close this down for the moment. And there they are. It's green now. We are now good to go. Let me go click here on router 0 and go to the CLI. And let's move this up a bit so you can see it. There it is. I'm in router 0. Let's uh, control Z for a moment. And I'm at the privilege exec mode prompt. Let me key in ping. 10 dots, 1 dots, 2 dot 1. That's the other guy. I'm going to hit enter. And uh, let's see what happens. Success rate 8%, 4 out of 5. Okay, that's good for our first shot. Let's try that again. Hit the up arrow key one more time. Oh, 5 out of 5 this time. It worked. What do you know? we got to go to this guy now and try and ping him. So let's do that. Let's uh, control Z out of here. And then under. And now we're at the router 1 PEM prompt. Let's try and ping router 0, which is... 10.1.1.1. I hit enter. There we go. Success. 100%. So now these two routers can ping each other, which is to say they can communicate with each other now. This is George Bull. Please share and like this video. I'd appreciate that. Bye bye now.